Hi guys. Hi guys. So in this video, we're going to be following on from the previous video, which was all about how we can add wind and a, a fracture collision to our tie flow particles. This video is going to be looking at adding random materials through material ID modifiers uh, to our particles. So we're going to select our tie flow icon here and go open editor. Now we're going to be assigning materials to our little particles. So we actually apply this in our first event above our shape modifier. So if we look in our modifiers down here and we go to material ID, just this one here, we click and drag that to be above the shape modifier. And in here, we're going to choose the random material ID because this will give some nice variation to our leaves that we've got here. I wouldn't mind my leaves to have a nice autumn kind of aesthetic rather than a green leafy aesthetic. We'll, we'll go for autumn. So we'll choose random. And once we choose random, we go into our material editor. Go into our material editor. And in this view, we're going to set up a few material types. So what we're going to do is open up our material editor and we're going to go material, get material, and we're going to create a multi-sub object material. In here, we're going to set the ID and the color of our material. So we're going to set our first material. We're just going to choose the physical material option. And here we're just going to choose the color of our first leaf, our first leaf color. We're going to choose a red. We're going to increase the transparency. So it's got a bit of diffusion of the leaf. So we're going to copy and we're going to paste a copy in each of these to create five of those. And here we're going to be able to change the color of our leaves. So we'll create a few nice autumn-y kind of colors. So we'll do that for all five of those. Make one that's a bit more orangey. So what we're going to do now is just select our tie flow and go assign material to selection. And as you should see here, we have nice randomized leaf colors, leaf colors. So that's looking great. So we'll go exit here. And now if we close this and look at our new animation, so now it has some nice autumn colors assigned to it. So we'll start from the beginning, we'll go play. Now it looks a lot more ambient and cinematic, which is fantastic. So that's how we apply randomized materials to our tie flow particles. The next video is going to be looking at how we can apply 3D text to our files. So I'll see you guys in the next video.